Today we'll learn display style in OpenBridge Modeler. Here we can see an OpenBridge model and we have taken some sections on the abutment on the pier. If we come on to the model area, we can see this is the default model which is design model and then we have drawing model and sheet model. If we see here PR1 which is a drawing model and we know that this is referenced into a sheet model. Similarly we have another one is a drawing model of the abutment and this is a sheet model. So The way we look at, the way we are having looked the display, the, the styles that we are getting, that's defined by the display style. So where are those? Where are these display style? So if we come into, again, into the drawing model, come into home and then reference. And if I come here, right click presentation, We can see there are forward, back, cut, outside and cut volume settings. This is basically the display styles. So here we actually activate, deactivate and then these actually coming from the display styles. So where are these? These are the actually the display styles. So where are those coming from? So those coming from into the view into the menu bar then here we can see all of those are defined and it it does take from there and we can create our own from there we can copy paste and we can edit like i did cut test simply by copying cut by this and renamed and then you can modify whatever you require and this is the display styles and display rules where we apply and where is this file? This file is basically on your configuration where you have a DGN lib. All those are defined in that DGN lib. Now we can see in the model. If we see in the model, this section is the PR section here. We can see this is a box here that we see the, uh, that contains the section that creates the section. So up and on, on every side, we have a sort of clipping um, knob that we can move around. We can increase or we can decrease whatever. And if you see on the center there is an arrow what it means is basically when we cut this section this is the center line so if anything comes along this center line that is cut and this one we see the arrow arrow direction if something in front of the arrow direction then it will be forward. You see the forward, back, cut, outside. So those four items, four things is coming from there. So if it is, if it, anything come across or along this center line, this is cut. If anything within this boundary, but in the, you know, like in front of this arrow, that will be forward. If anything in behind this arrow, that will be back. Anything beyond this box outside there, that's beyond. So if we go into there again, that's where we define. And this is the we can activate, inactivate any of them as required. And then we 
this is uh, the push button once we set up then we push it uh, we set that one and this um, appears onto the onto our models now let's go through a detail into a detail of these display styles so to do that we can directly go into view again here and there so what we see here this is actually all things regarding the display style here what we see in this window and then we'll define what's uh, what's re as required so we have mainly four items here that defines the whole thing the first one is the render mode the second one is the display and that is display rules display that does come here and then we have actually overrides the third one and then it it settings fourth so in the whole thing here the these four items basically define this and here is if we go again in the render mode we can see there are four different items in there in the drop down and we can select from there which is wireframe visible edges field visible edges and shaded now this is a bit important here because this is independent of those things if i select wireframe then whatever model i do it will show like as wireframe it will never be never be done as visible a field even whatever we do here so there are the four items in there is visible edges so where we'll see the edges that's visible it will show then we have the wireframe we know the wireframe what it is the lines and then we have shaded that will shed and this is filled visible that means it will fill it fill the whole thing and then visible edges there as well so if i select wireframe or if i do a select a field visible edges then it will never be like wireframe so let's go into a little bit detail then we'll be more clear on that here we can see those uh, four items as we just said and then display rules um, at this moment i am just um, giving a very basic one line but we'll detail we'll go in detail in next uh, sessions or so display rules is actually is the customized rules we can apply um, is like say we want to see our uh, traffic barrier as red whatever the levels colors whatever i want my traffic barrier as red when i print so or i can say my deck will be orange on my drawing model but on to my sheet model i want another color or something or i want into my drawing model and sheet model i want orange so those things we can define in display rules so i'll go through it in detail later on so at this moment um, we disregard the display rules come on to the third part which is overrides actually the name implies it means overrides it overrides is override the levels elements defined in the configuration what it means is if i select here and puts those data here 
colors and those things whatever i have defined in my configuration as a level they will not appear it will appear whatever i define here and it means override has more power than the levels uh, we have defined in the configuration itself in the elements and those uh, parameters in there so and then we have the edge settings at this moment we just need to remember that edge setting has more power than overrides it takes precedence over overrides and overrides takes precedence over the levels because if i select something here in the edge settings whatever we have done there edge settings will be applied on top of that so we'll be more clear on this this side another thing is usable for this is sometimes important if you will you will see sometimes um, you see here but you don't so you see on to the reference in you know like if you go into there right click presentation sometimes you'll see you don't see there uh, probably the reason is you need to come here and you go there and you uh, whatever you want to see there you just select both of them you know like like views and clip volumes if you select both of them that will appear so if i want to see cut i'll select both and then it will appear there 